Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Dratnos' Civilization V Let's Play. Uh, now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret right now, in that I didn't think well ahead here right now, because I'm thirsty, and I also just hit start recording. So I'm going to drink some soda at the start of this. Mm. Mm. Like so, a little bit of Coke Zero. Good stuff. Rebottled it, and we're going to keep moving our Great Prophet along. So, uh, those of you that missed last episode, we have a Great Prophet. We're going to go try and spread our religion to the Celts. All right, the fact that we see their borders here is great news for us. It means they probably have a city here that's going to be less uh, formidable in their holy city of Buddhismness. All right, we'll, we'll move our guys in. And, oh yeah, okay, perfect. Perfect. We should be able to absolutely, absolutely uh, religion bomb these guys. Ooh, they've sent over archers. Luckily, there's nothing they can do unless they want to declare war on me. Can I go in there and spread my religion? Is that something I can do? Oh, I can't, I can't do that. I don't even know how great prophets work, but I thought that would be how that could work. Boudicca is a threat to the stability of this world. Sorry, uh, not interested in declaring war right now on Boudicca. Because I'm currently in their territory with my great unit. Oh, okay, can I... So can I move on to their city and, and convert it? Is that something great prophets can do? I would have thought yes. Can I... Okay, spread religion. After this action... Okay. Boom. Boom. Nice, we've converted Truro into a drat-following uh, religion. Or a drat-following city. And we still have three uses on spread religion. So we'll go up and around, see if we can't start converting uh, Madrid as well. Okay, very cool, good stuff. I'm going to try and stay within the borders of a civilization so that I don't end up getting owned by some barbarians. Alright, here comes currency. Here comes currency. Better is bread with a happy heart. Alright, now now we've, we can build some extra stuff here. That's going to be good. I'm liking, I'm liking our sieve here. We've got some great production cities. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this again. Engineering, potentially a good call. Uh, we would then be able to move towards metal casting if we also got iron working. We could also rush guilds, uh, which potentially would mean if we get Machu Picchu, that would be potentially great. Although I don't think we... Oh, are there mountains near, near my city here? No, they're not, so I couldn't build Machu Picchu. Nope, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we could get civil service. That would get us pikemen, which would potentially be a great upgrade to our spearmen. Chichen Itza which would increase the length of our golden ages. Uh, and also, wow, okay, yeah, food from farm increased on what? By one on tiles with access to fresh water. Nice. Huh. Let's grab engineering. If in doubt, uh, go with the cheaper one in terms of time. This one's half as long as these. Uh, we're gonna grab it. That's gonna be the plan. Okay, we'll keep moving here. Ooh, now I can, I can walk through their city, but I can't uh, walk on their city. That's cool. Okay. Now, do I want to spread religion to Edinburgh? I have three uses of spread religion, uh, but Edinburgh is entrenched with Buddhism. Let's take a look at what would happen here. Uh, if I get right next to it, spread religion. Oh! Oh, I like that. Let's do it. Boom! Boom! He's now a, it's now a drat-following city. At, oh my goodness, it's no longer holy city for Buddhism? Hang on, I just got a Steam achievement. Holier than thou. Become the dominant religion in an opponent's holy city. Awesome. Awesome. Sorry, Edinburgh, but awesome. Also, that means that if anybody with a great prophet ever gets near my city, I kill him. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. They just, uh... Oh, no. Now Greece is mad at... Okay. So that ended badly. Wow. Okay, Edinburgh... I guess they didn't like it that we spread religion to them. <laughs> okay. Um, so Alexander and I are also at war now, I guess, because they're probably allies. Dido's made it to the medieval era. Kamahamaha has made it to the medieval era. Uh-oh. Okay, so that was all kinds of not good. Um, however, potentially worth. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now they want to give us uh, the stuff. I will accept this. Now they've given me money. That's great. Uh, yes, let's work together, Byzantium. Alright, so now I'm at war with two people instead of one. Uh, because, okay. And Dido, for some reason, decided to start giving me gold. Uh, I don't know why they're doing that. Maybe something to do with my religion? Maybe it's the power of my religion? Okay. Well, uh, I also... Okay. 
Uh, so Egypt doesn't like Byzantium. We're sorry this causes a divide between us. But Carthage wants to be friends with us right now. I wonder if it's that now that we're uh, we're up against Greece. Huh. Hey, they don't seem to hold a grudge about being at war in the past. Okay. Yes, let's work together, Carthage. That's cool. Oh, and Byzantium also likes Carthage. Wow. All sorts of new friends in, in exchange for some new enemies. Ooh, hey, Greece. You're, you're at war with me. We're going to hit you with some, some rocks and stuff. Aha! All right. Okay, yeah, we're, we're now... It seems like everybody's now extra friendly with us, except for the two people that have just declared war on us. But besides that, besides that, everybody's now friendly with us. Super cool. It'd be great if we can get these two uh, religious uh, thingies down as well. Okay, um, so let's have a think. If we can get that... Ooh, everybody's just talking about how great it is that we're so friendly with people. It's nice. I, I'm loving this. Uh, if we can get these, these faith-building wonders out, which is looking fairly likely, especially considering how much we rushed the tech for them, uh, then we can potentially become a massive religious powerhouse. Uh, however, the problem with spreading our religion to people, like, if we spread our religion to Carthage, they'll be super mad at us because uh, they like their religion. So that potentially could be bad. Yeah, now, ooh, the pressure we're doing here is, I, I don't know how the pressure works, but maybe we could eventually start converting their cities uh, to us, just with, with the power of religion. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Alright, Greece has publicly denounced Carthage. Uh, yeah, okay, that was probably why Carthage suddenly became friendly with us. Uh, because... Because at that point, we were, uh, we were no longer allies with their enemy, but we were enemies with their enemy, which made them friendly with us. Super cool. Okay. Workers here doing some raking on the grassland, getting us some farm going. Columbo seeks justice against Carthage. Uh, I am not going to denounce Carthage right now. Thank you, Columbo. Sorry, bro. But uh, Carthage is my friend. Whew. All right, so uh, we're continuing our main strategy of getting our cities all nice and fed. Uh, the problem here is that Greece does have quite a large military, if I, if, if I extrapolate correctly, about how they've done out here. Uh, although it looks like they might still be having some fighting issues over here. This city is occupied. That's taken an awful long time for, for them to get that city under control. Don't know what's going on there. Hopefully they're fighting through all of Africa and stuff. Embassies work for me. That's fine. That's great. Perfect. Uh, Kamehameha has proven that the world is round. I guess they've gone all the way around. Cool. Good for you. Congrats. Nice stuff. I wonder if we... I remember in, uh, in like, Civ 3, you'd share your map with people, and it would be great. Okay. Well, things are... So things seemed like they might go bad suddenly when Edinburgh... Ooh. Ooh. I guess they've used a, a great person of Buddhism to get that city back into Buddhism rather than uh, Drat. Yeah, okay, so holy cities might be fairly resilient to religious conversion, uh, even though we briefly swept them with Drat. Mechanical science is the noblest. Okay, uh, so we've finished up with almost all the classical era texts. Uh, we're going to go for guilds now. Guild seems like a good choice. Keep on moving forward through the medieval era. Yeah, if we can, after these uh, two things are done, if we can get a great, uh, whatchamacallit, thingy, uh, the National College will start having a lot more science as well. Uh, the good thing about having our cities so concentrated is that the plus 50%, so when you get the National College, it gives you plus 50% science in that city, which means that it's like a total of plus 25% across your whole empire, considering you only have two cities. Whereas if you have a large empire where your science is very much distributed across all your cities, uh, it's a less powerful bonus. Okay, we've seen some Greek scouts coming nearby. I wonder if that means they have an invasion force coming here. Uh, I'm not too worried. Their invasion force would come very slowly is the thing if they come over land because uh, they'll be slowed down coming through Colombo because Colombo has a lot of units around. All right. Doing well here. Things still going fairly well. York and London doing quite well here in 750 AD. Okay, now, this is kind of a terrifying list right now, because Alexander has twice the military power of the second highest person of Dido. Isabella is an ally, and Dido are ally is an ally. Kamehameha is not really either. Uh, Boudicca is an enemy. Okay. And we're down with 153 military power. We are not a strong uh, civ. We could definitely not do any sort of aggressive maneuvers. 
Uh, defensively, though, we can probably be fine. However, uh, Greece has a lot of military power. The thing is, though, bringing it to bear, given their capital is so far away, uh, is probably not easy for them to do. If we were next door to them, we'd probably be dead. Uh, that would probably be how it would go down. And they're definitely scouting out the area nearby. So I'm not, uh, I'm not 100% secure. But I'm, I'm, I'm maybe 95% secure here in my, in my Civ. I don't think I'm going to lose it to a military push. I'd probably require a push from both uh, the Celts and the Greeks. Okay, Greece has just founded Hinduism in Athens. Hopefully that'll drive a wedge between him and uh, the Buddhists up here. All right. Mm. A little bit more Coke Zero. All right, Byzantium is now Greece. Yeah. So definitely this whole, like, Celtic-Greece alliance uh, has come against, like, the rest of the world, uh, who's all not with them. They want me to give them gold, all my gold, and York. That's not happening. I'll propose this. Okay, nope. Not happening. So basically the same thing now is happening with this sieve, and they're equally unable to actually come kill us. Oops, I accidentally uh, alt-tabbed over there if you, if you experience a brief delay. Okay. Wow. Wow. No. I'll make peace with your city-states, that's fine, but the rest of it's no. No. They want literally all of my gold and my city. That's not going to happen, especially since York is a fantastic city right now. It's an incredible city. Ah. Okay. A great engineer has been born in the city of London. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so, if we just hold here, we can build the next thing really fast. Uh, the alternative would be going to a square like this, and then creating uh, something that'll let us get a lot more production in general. Austria has denounced Greece. Carthage has enhanced their religion of Islam. Fine by me. Islam and Drat can be bros. Okay, so we could construct a manufacturer here. Uh, that'll be plus four production generally. Which is a lot of production, wow. Or we could go construct a manufacturer thingy here. That would also be potentially a good call. Or we could hurry the next building. I'm going to continue the theme of being like a long-term powerhouse. I'm going to construct the manufacturer here. Boom. That's going to get us uh, extra production for the rest of the game, rather than just on one thing. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm down to be friends with Polynesia now. Great. Carthage is also friends with Polynesia. Glad to hear it. Very glad to hear it, actually. Hmm. And who would have thought that Carthage and I were fighting at the, like, start of last episode? Ah. Or even the start of this episode, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who could have seen the, uh, the sudden change around coming. If any of you predicted that, well done. Uh, I did not. I did not see that coming. Primarily because I don't know how the religious things work yet. I haven't... This will be my first full game of Gods and Kings. Uh, Okay. Still going fairly well here. Things are going nice. Yes. York in eight turns is about to have a nice boost in things. Alright, Dido can now declare war on me. I don't expect that to happen. I think we're fairly friendly with them right now. Uh, Ramses too. The, the Egyptians have entered the medieval era finally. Okay. I'm legitimately ahead of, of him at least. Ooh. Alright, a few good things have happened. For it soars to a height to We've got our Hagia Sophia, which gives us a free great profit. That's going to be good. We can start spreading our religion more, or we can enhance our religion. Huh. Huh. We gotta be careful about moving here. I'm gonna go try and get Quebec City to be Drat. Yes. Uh, yeah. And choosing production now. Yeah, okay, now National College would be super fast. Uh, the Oracle would potentially be a good call as well. We get a free social policy. Yeah, a free social policy. I'm gonna go for the science, uh, because I feel like getting, getting ahead in science is gonna be important. And I feel like we might be a little bit behind where we want to be there. What? What? How come? Okay. Jeez. So Dido has now declared war at us. Uh, the, G the gold pretend has, has expired. Our peace treaty. Yeah, okay. Wow. Did not see that coming at all. This is, uh, this is weird. Everybody's declaring war on us. We've got all sorts of warmongers around us. I think it might be because of the religion. Maybe they mistweaked. Uh, how much religion makes people want to declare war. Although, on the other hand, if you take a look through history, maybe not. Maybe they undertweaked it, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Quebec City has a little bit of drat pressure going right now. Ooh. Another civilization has gotten the, the culture boost from them. Aw. 
All right, we're going to move here, and we're going to spread religion to them. Ethiopia has announced Carthage. All right. I don't know why Carthage and I were bros. This happens, like, again. And they want my gold. Okay, nope. Still no peace. All right. Uh, we're going to spread our religion. All right. Quebec City is now a drat city. Majority religion. That's good. All sorts of war. Okay, let's let's look through this. So Egypt. Wow, okay. First off, no on that. Okay. Egypt has now declared war with the, with Carthage. That's good. Egypt's on our side of that one. Egypt has declared war on Austria. That's also fine. We're not particularly involved there. And Austria has made peace uh, with Addis Ababa. Okay. Um, hmm. We have a few choices here. I don't want to move towards their territory because I don't want to get killed. I don't want to lose my, my profit again. So I'm going to move back towards here. I'm going to get York to start following Drat because uh, that is not something that... Uh, that is something I want to have happen. Uh, no, I'm not interested in declaring war on Egypt right now. They're currently my allies against uh, Carthage. Okay, Ramses II uh, has become a bit too much to... Okay, Byzantium also wants to declare war on, uh, on Egypt. I'm sorry I can't join that right now. I, I just don't want to get into wars right now. It's not something I want to have happen. Uh, because I can't, I can't help with the war. There's nothing I can do. You know, it wouldn't mean anything. Okay, we're going to move our prophet back. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to spread religion to York. See if we can maybe sneak over and spread it to Colombo. Get back and see if we can enhance our religion. Quebec City and Spain are now allies. Okay. Ethiopia has now denounced Austria. And Byzantium has now denounced Ethiopia. Okay. Hey, we got our great mosque, though. Uh, so we get a free mosque in York. Uh, and we'll g all our missionaries that we create there are better. Cool. All right. Uh, Spain's now the ally of Quebec City. Let's take a look here. So we could start building the Oracle, get ourselves a free social policy. Not necessarily a bad choice. Or we could start working towards gold. Now, we already are making a lot of gold. A free social policy would be super cool if we could snap that up before uh, somebody else does that. And the, the permanent culture boost would be cool. Uh-oh. So Ethiopia's mad at us. All right. Very well. They're mad at us because we're bros with Byzantium. Uh, everybody wants to declare war on, on uh, Egypt. Okay. Egypt's probably going to get crushed. Wow, look at what they want from me. No, I'll give you, I'll give you the silk. Sure. Okay. Nope. Open borders with the Byzantium is fine. Byzantium, uh, lots of people are mad with them as well. There's Carthaginian... Wow, okay, their African forest element elephants are coming near us. The enemy has been spotted. Okay. Uh, we're going to move over here, spread our religion to York. And then I'm not sure it'll be safe to go to Colombo to spread religion. I'd rather enhance religion. Uh, no, no thanks right now, Austria. Much appreciated. Ah, this map glitch where you're, when you're holding an arrow, when it, like, something happens, it keeps that happening, is annoying. <clears throat> Somebody's found Judaism. Okay, cool story. Go over here. Spread our religion. Bzam! Okay. Uh, and now we still have two spread religion uses. Great. Okay. Um, actually, if we send our spearmen, we could probably make it up to the uh, to the city there. We're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna move to, towards Colombo. See if we can't get that done. Okay, we're on an expedition here to spread our religion to Colombo. Oh, are we at war with these guys? No, they're Spanish. We're fine. Whew. Okay, this is exciting. Very exciting. Keep our spearmen in the vanguard here. Uh, luckily, all sorts of movement and pairing features near here. It would be difficult for us to get uh, flanked and taken down. Whew. Okay, barbarian encampment has been discovered. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, up there. Don't care. I'll never get there in time anyways. Uh, somebody else will take care of that. All right, luckily I'm not seeing any enemy units here. And I'm also going to steal these guys' workers. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, we're definitely going to yoink these workers. That's absolutely something that needs to happen. Uh, yep, we're going to steal your worker, bro. Ooh, city states grow wary. Colombo, Genoa, and Sidon. Okay. I don't actually want to be at war with these guys for long. I just want to be briefly at war with them to steal their dude. 
Okay. Can we do that? Let's steal their dude. That's all I want to do. No, I'm not... Stop it. Stop asking for things I'm never going to give you. Okay. You haven't even attacked me. Like, you... you it's, the impetus is on you here to attack me and make me want to surrender. You haven't attacked me. Stop it. Oh, the worker... Okay, they've made a good move there by fleeing. Uh, we're going to make peace. Ta-da! Peace made. Uh, and we'll heal up these guys here. We'll quickly go spread religion in here. And then hopefully the worker will come back and we can take it down in one fell swoop. Isabella has declared war on Ramses too. Okay. Kamehameha has declared war. Theodora has declared war. Everybody's at war. Uh, nope. No peace. Ain't no peace. Okay. And now I don't want to actually steal right now because they could kill my dude. Okay, we're going to spread religion. Okay. Uh, good. Colombo is now a drat city. How's uh, this? Great. Quebec City is also still a drat city. And that's going to make us... I think the more religious followers we have, the more money we make as well. Let's take a look at our religion, actually, if we can. If we click this... Yeah, we get plus one gold for every four followers. Uh, so I should definitely be trying to spread this as much as possible. I wonder if we could actually do an expedition to Genoa. Let's do it. Let's, let's man mode up and, and get that done. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to fall onto our, our dude here, wait a few turns, uh, so that we can steal this worker, and then go. Yup, that's the plan. Ooh, is that... Oh no, that's Byzantine. They're, they're bros. Nice ship. Dromon. I wonder if that's a unique ship for the Byzantine Empire. The merchants and the traders have come. All right. Uh, we've got guilds now. We could start working on machinery, which would get us crossbowmen. Uh, and also, our roads would, would have even faster movement. Civil service, another good call. Then we could get knights uh, and get some Alhambra or Alhambra, which should... Uh, ooh, that's kind of cool. We're going to work on ironworking. I think it's about time we get to metal casting because physics and seal are great. Or physics, at least, is super fantastic. Okay. Uh, I think now we're at the point where we can yoink this. Wait, wait, wait. Mine. Uh-oh. We've discovered some forest elephants. Quickly, make peace. Make peace. Ta-da! Uh, and we're going to fortify back up there. Uh, the Great Prophet is going to have to wait its turn there. Okay, I wonder if we're going to get attacked here by the uh, Forest Elephants. They couldn't. They can't really attack that well. You, you take a penalty by attacking uh, the way that, like, over a river or uh, out of the sea. They're still not interested in making peace with us, so that's fine. But it is going to be a dangerous road to move our dude to, to Genoa. I'm going to instead go and enhance my religion, actually. Uh, we're going to automate the worker. And we're going to bring this guy here. We're going we're gonna to come home. That's going to be the plan. Wait our turn there so that we can't just get insta-gibbed and lose our profit. That would be bad. Okay, we've still got some nice production-y stuff happening here. Hey, we have enough uh, to purchase something with faith. All right, let's see if we can purchase anything cool with faith. We get a missionary, which would let us spread religion. Um, potentially a good call, actually. I don't know. Or we could wait to get another great prophet. Ooh, that's a lot of faith for the next great prophet. We're going to get a missionary. It's going to be cool. Okay, we'll keep moving these guys back towards home city of London. Isabella wants a little bit of gold. Um, sure, I have a lot of extra gold, and it seems fine to, to make friends with. Okay, now our missionary, uh, we're going to send out by sea. Uh, it's a bit risky, but if we can get... Huh. I don't actually know where it would be a good place to go for. Alright, we're going to try going up over land. Uh, and see if we can't get to, like, Spain or something. I wonder if that'll make them mad at us and declare war. That might happen. It'd be pretty funny if that did, actually. Yes, that'd be hilarious. Hilarious. Wow, the, uh, the mosque out in the sea is pretty funny. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. Pretty funny graphical bug. Okay. Missionaries, luckily, can move super duper fast over all sorts of terrain. Uh, which means as long as I walk smartly, I won't be hit by anything. Alright, we're going to go back to our home city and enhance our religion. Okay, and we're going to fortify these guys up on our on York. Doing well. Ooh, we got all kinds of workers. Ah, ah, hard to move the camera in this game. 
Yes. See, this is silly. This should be my territory. Like, who would claim this territory? How is this territory not British? Seriously. Okay. To London we go. Our holy city. From where we will enhance our religion, old chap. Okay, risky move there. Uh, luckily, there weren't bad guys waiting right here. We're going to move up here, and we're going to see... Okay, their holy city is Confucianism, so they're going to be really mad if we spread our religion. Uh, so we're going to go over to this way. See if we can't spread it to Madrid. Okay, oh man, I can't... I guess you can only use uh, Enhance Religion if you haven't spread religion at all. Okay. Uh, we'll just... Uh, we'll make a holy site then. Can we do that if we've spread religion? Is that something we can do? I don't think so, actually. Okay, looks like... Uh, since we spread religion a few times, we can't do anything else. Huh. Alright, well, hop out into the sea and see if we can't go uh, somewhere and spread extra religion. I suppose, worst comes to worst, we could always go somewhere like there again. Okay, continuing our missionary moves. Doing well there. Wow, 18 faith per second. That's fantastic. Or per turn. Hey, look at this. Now they're interested in giving us the gold. Great! It works for me. These guys are so silly. It didn't make sense. I would have taken any kind of peace treaty. I don't want to be at war. Uh, and that means now that we can go spread our religion to them and make them mad again. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we'll alert here. And continue moving our missionaries up. For the Drat religion. Alright. I should have named it Scientology because of all the uh, money making I'm doing from it. Half of my gold per second is, or per turn is coming from that. Alright, Alexander still wants gold from us. And we're still not going to give it to him. Oh. Cool animation. Uh, yeah, they want us to, uh, to stop religious conversions. Our missionaries and prophets will go where they please. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Even if we end up... So the thing is, our great prophet only has one spread left. So if we use it and they declare war on us again, whatever. We got some gold out of them for the last peace treaty. Probably it'll happen again. Okay, we'll keep moving through the... Uh, I think that's the Gobi Desert in in uh, the actual world terms. Kodika wants an embassy. Works for me. I'm sure they'll uh, end up burning ours down soon as we go and spread our religion. Okay. I'll uh, we'll keep moving our missionary through this uh, this treacherous mountain terrain. Mission oh, no! No, no, no! No! No, 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 no! 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 Oops. My bad. I all tabbed out again. Okay, uh, we're probably going to lose our missionary here unless I'm... Yeah. Darn! Ah, it's bad. Okay. Uh... Alright, we're going to spread our religion to Nantes. Uh, we're not going to attack Theodora. Thank you for the offer, but no thank you. Okay, these guys have an impressive... No! Stop it! These guys have an impressive uh, strategy, which is to just make sure that I can't physically move near their city. Okay, too late. You've given me a spot here. Now I shall spread the religion to Nantes. Wait, 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 wait. We're probably going to get declared war on next next turn. It's going to be pretty funny. All right, we're going to bombard the uh, poor fools here. Wow. That uh, forest elephant is in trouble if it uh, doesn't get out of here really fast. Okay, London. Wow, look at our production here. We can make things super fast. Uh, we need to get a temple in York so that we can get a grand temple. That'd be cool. Doubles religious pref pressure emanating from this city. Wow. Alright, uh, let's get a market. Increase our gold production. That seems like a good choice. Or we could start building units, I guess, and become a military powerhouse. Now we're going to get a market and start going for gold. Uh, and we're going to alert here. Just keep our guys nice and fortified. Alright, here comes the de declaration of war from uh, the super-duper angry Celts. Oh no, I guess not. Okay. Sydney's declared war on me. The enemy's still been spotted near York. Greece has announced to the world that it's protecting Sydney. So Greece's plan, I guess, is that they're becoming totally city-state oriented. Sure, open borders works for me. Spain has announced Greece. Okay, cool stuff. All right, so we've had some exciting religious endeavors this uh, this particular turn. Got some nice pressure of uh, Buddhism here, or not Buddhism, uh, of Drat. Hopefully that'll start converting to Truro as well. But we can uh, we can get some more missionaries soon as well.
So, uh, what will happen in the next exciting episode of this series? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no plans. I'm, I'm terrible at this game. Uh, my name has been Dratnos. I'd appreciate it if you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. I appreciate it uh, a great deal every time somebody does that. Very much appreciate it. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Bye.